All right, I've put this off a little while. <laughs> Took an hour long break. Just because I was enjoying this so damn much. And uh, figured I'd change locations. It's a whole nother video. An hour later. Let that buzz kind of settle down some. Oh. Actually, it's just so nice to be out here that I, I just kind of went outside and sat out there and went, ah. Oh. I love being up in the, on Mount Hope. All right. Where am I at? All nations worship idols. Hey. A little visit from my friend here. Yeah, I noticed that too. <sighs> Time to get in the spirit. Really? All nations worship idols? And we go into a quote from Isaiah 40, 42 8. My glory will I not give to another. Neither my praise to graven images. So, you know, pay attention to him again. Whew. It really is Trump in the sky. Get it now. That's why 666 was Caesar Nero. Interesting. If I were superstitious, I'd like make something out of that. Ugh. And then they skip to Leviticus 26.1. Got to go back to get to the original rules. Ye shall make no idols, nor graven images, uh, neither rear you up a standing image, neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land to bow, bow down unto it. So totem poles are okay then. I guess the druids had it right. They weren't using rocks. Well, a stone edge maybe. But I mean, mostly it was like trees and mistletoe. And <sighs> magical shit. Uh, and then they skip to Psalms 96, 4 through 8. Lots of rambling there. Let's pick a little bit. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. And the other ones aren't even real. But he is. I guess. Probably not. I'd be happy to eat my words. He can do a video with me if he wants. To be continued, maybe. For all the gods of nations are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. So, uh, explain the Vatican. Then. And places such as all the bedizenment and decorations and graven images and paintings and art kind of stuff. Which they're against. 
solution to this problem they think we have. Come back to the God of all gods. And his G got capitalized. Mm, that helped. <laughs> the god of all gods. Even the other gods believe in this god. He's their god. He's the god to gods. The king of beers. I'll stick with PBR. But I'll settle for the other or anything else pretty much. I'm not a snob. Uh, the God of the Bible, that one. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they go to a quote, I am that I am. And then in, in Printicles, I Asha, Asha, Hi, Ya. In the Hebrew. Thank you. That pfft, wow, that was so helpful. <laughs> you asked for it. Ah, oh, the things I do for my peeps. All right. Anyway, that was Exodus three thirteen through fifteen, if you didn't know already. You must repent and denounce all paganism. Get baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Ooh. And keep his commandments. Which ones? Oh, yeah. The one about mixed fabrics or... He had more than ten. He never said ten commandments. There's a ton of them. Read. Read for yourself. And then they give us this matrix kind of thing. This matrix meme. That's correct. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. John... 8.32 So there you go. You'll know the truth and it'll make you free and it's what they say it is. That's so helpful. Alright. Next page. What's really going on? Oh. <laughs> Well, it helps to pay attention. A lot of stuff's going on. All kinds of stuff. Stuff you'll never know about. Stuff. False flags. Acts carried out by military or security force personnel, which are then blamed on terrorists, Operations, Wikipedia, in red, ink, to hide the real organization behind an operation. I always wondered about that Wikipedia, man. Can you really trust it? <laughs> These false flags are to bring forth the next phase of martial law under the New World Order agenda. <laughs> to have a multi... Wait. Uh, have a 
militarized, cashless society run by technology. <sighs> yeah, we hate technology, except where it's useful. Uh, to finally introduce the, air quotes, RFID chip. <coughs> Got to chase that one back. Mm. Nice. RFID chip. To the population, those sheep. Oh, wait, that's a good thing. I forgot. <laughs> the Bible calls it the mark of the beast. Ooh. Scary shit. Police state. Pow. And I forgot what that is. What is that? Oh, that's the uh, that's a uh, x-ray of a hand and then a close-up of a implant chip. Wow. They knew all about that shit. But actually, well, read it for yourself. <coughs> and decide. We go to Revelation 13, 16, 17. Awfully familiar. Let's see what it is. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads, either or, or and maybe, I don't know, could save time. And that no man might buy or sell save he, uh, save he that had Save he that had the mark. And that's some scary shit. Actually, it sounds kind of efficient. but uh, The chip will be your identification and your debit credit spending system. Actually, it sounds hella efficient. Sign me up. Oh, wrong hand. And I could be living in fantasy land in the sky. I weren't so damn temporally grounded. As crazy as it sounds, the New World Order, the RFID chip, FEMA camps, InfoWars, maybe. And the plan for depopulation it all is all very real, which probably includes chemtrails and crop circles and, and angels dancing on the head of a needle. Sorry, didn't mean to get poetic on you. Um, depopulation is a very it is all very real. They are planning to totally eradicate a class of people. Again, that sucks. Uh, anyway, they, they tell us to look at one Thessalonians. 5-3 and hashtag FEMA hashtag Red Cross be afraid be very afraid it's scary alright well I'm just giving you the information as I receive it uh, oh this is good no wait I'm going to just read it first I'll show you. I'll show it later. Uh, they're going to go to Revelation 
7, 4 through 8. Hang on a second here. Technical difficulties. Uh, where was I? Where am I? <laughs> okay. Yeah, Revelation 7, 4, and uh, 4 through 8. Wait, that can't be right. It, wait. 4, 3. Sorry. Bad eyesight. <sighs> These people are prominent in, in end day prophecy and must be identified. That's Revelation there. Uh, Twelve tribes of Israel, and I can't even fucking read this. Ugh. <sighs> According to the Bible, the children of Israel, and there's parentheses, uh, Israelites, slash, also Jews, in parenthetical, that was helpful, thank you, would lose their identity. Jeremiah 17.4 if you need some evidence. That's proof positive. And go into slavery in a strange land by the means of cargo slave ships where they would serve their enemies. Deuteronomy 28. Read all it says. They got a Picture a guy who's been whipped an awful lot of times, it looks like. That really sucks. And I believe that's a slave ship. And I don't know what that is. I haven't got to it yet. But oh, yeah. Uh, there's a rabbi sucking a foreskin off an infant and uh, making a, the crew sign. <laughs> Going. <laughs> That's some scary shit, man. <sighs> All right, now Jeremiah seventeen four, and go into slavery in a strange land by the means of cargo ships and uh, serve their enemies, Deuteronomy, read all. Okay, and slave ship looks pretty uncomfortable. Looks very uncomfortable. Looks scary as shit. That fucking sucks, and I'd never do that to anybody. Fuck anybody who would do something like that to somebody else. Funny, it ain't a commandment, though. That you don't do that shit to anybody. Just saying. We are taught to be Jews. Papow. That's some scary shit, man. Fuck, man. Don't make me a Jew, please. Oh, wait a minute. They circumcised me automatically, even though I was Protestant. At one time. Apparently it was just standard procedure. 
I'm not really complaining, but I heard there's more nerve endings, and it would have been really even more awesome than usual. But <sighs> thanks. At least I look clean. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Where the fuck was I? Over here. Okay. Uh, Revelation 2 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, parenthetical, but thou art rich in parenthetical. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Really? I really I didn't know that. Huh. And are not. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. So we're just talking about Sammy, Sammy Davis Jr. and a few other select people. <laughs> You're like Yvonne <laughs> and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Wow. That's some scary shit, man. I guess. Probably. Yeah. Did I mention that was Revelation 2 9? Uh, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies. Well, then they're yours. If you, unless you want to break the chain, but that's. Not always necessary, right? Anyway, look to Jeremiah 16.19 on that matter. I'm just helping. All right, where the fuck was I? Damn this thing. Um, did I reach the end already? I couldn't have. Son of a bitch. That's it. I somehow it seemed lo longer than it turned out to be. Uh, I don't know. Gonna have to like ruminate on this one. Um, let me know what you think. Chime in. Say whatever you want. I'm not gonna block you unless you're a total spam troll. Yeah, you can say mean things. It's all right. Um, let me know if you, this changed your life, if it illuminated you, or made you clear somehow. Damn, share that information with me, because I definitely need all the help I can get. But not really. I'm all right. Um, stay tuned. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. I sure as hell can't complain. And I hope you can't either, but go ahead if you want to. <laughs>